Okay, Worldwide Entertainment TV has the stewards on the podcast today. Could you tell our viewers how you guys are related? Well, yes, uh, this is my brother, Gary, and I'm Dale. Okay. So I know your family has connections to the music industry and a little history. Could you tell us about that? Yes. Uh, we, we had a cousin by the name of Johnny Hodges. He plays saxophone for uh, Duke Ellington. Isfahan, the solo by Johnny Hodges. Back in the 50s and early 60s, yeah, we, we also had a cousin by the name of um, Luther Bond and his Emeralds. He was also uh, playing music back in the 50s and early 60s. And uh, our mother, Corrine Hodges Stewart, yeah, she, she was singing um, uh, gospel music with uh, Sam Cooke back in the 50s. Okay. And, and our mother is, is the one that, that got us into the music. Into the music. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, my dad, my dad did music and my uncle, my two uncles, and they used to do R&B, soul, like okay. in the 70s. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah. I know the music. I know the <laughs> yes, yes. My man, my man. <laughs> I listen to your new single, and it seems to follow a pattern from the Motown era. Could you tell us who you consider to be the greats from that era? Well, yes. Um, we we like the Jackson 5, of course. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we like... Uh, uh, Smokey Robinson. Uh, definitely Smokey Robinson. The Silvers. Stevie Wonder. Uh, definitely Stevie Wonder. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, and they was basically considered, at least in, in our time, the greats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's still art to do. We just did a poll. Okay. The greatest uh, R&B group from 60s, 70s, 90s, and we had Boys to Men, New Edition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jackson, the Jackson still blew everybody out. No, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> people, the people know, them. they definitely know the era. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so tell us... How you guys began? Well, well, actually, we started base, basically back in uh, 1975. Okay. Uh, we we had a uh, audition for uh, Hal Davis of Motown Records. Uh, Hal Davis was a writer for the Jackson Five. He wrote yeah. uh, "I'll Be There." Oh. We uh, auditioned for him at the Cincinnati uh, Playboy Club, yeah. and from there we. Uh, uh, met a, a guy by the name of Shadow Shea in 1980. Shadow Shea was uh, one of the hottest uh, producers in the Midwest at the time. And he um, produced a song for us called uh, Get Down, Get, Get Down. Down. Okay. And and this is, this is a little fun, funny little story, you know, which we thought was funny. Um, uh, back, in the, back in the 80s, uh, a lot of musicians would go to a, a music store called Buddy Rogers. Yeah. We, we would go to Buddy Rogers and talk about music projects and, you know, uh, talk about uh, uh, keyboards, guitars. And we ran into a, a guy by the name of Greg Jackson. Uh, he was playing with a guy by the name of Roger Trotman yes. and, and the Human Body. Yeah, and we were so pumped up about our our song, "Get Down, Get Down," and he he told us to hold back your song. He said because mm -hmm. uh, they just signed a, a deal with Warner Brothers and they changed their name to Zap, and they got a song mm -hmm. called "More Bounce to the Ounce" coming out. Yeah, and you know, mind you, uh, we was uh, younger, teenagers, yeah, so. and we we thought that name was funny. Yeah, you know. I, I said, Zap, what's a Zap? You know, a song called More Bounce to the Ounce. Oh, man. And then when we heard the song, we was blown away. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. We knew that song was a monster, monster hit. And yeah. 44 years later, it's, it's, it's still a monster hit. Uh, our song, Get Down, Get Down, was a, a regional hit yeah. in, in the Midwest area. Okay. You know, so from, from, the, from 1980, then um, we met uh, Gregory Hines. Yeah, Gregory Hines. Yeah, Gregory Hines. yeah down, downtown at a club. And uh, we gave him our, our tape. He, he listened to it. He liked it. Then he, he, he gave us the number to his, his people out in California. He said, yeah, I got to leave Cincinnati, come out to California. So I, we, I, we got together with our mother, but our mother became sick. So we couldn't leave Cincinnati. We had to stay here with our mother. And, uh, and after that, we had we ran into um, a guy named Lewis, uh, Huey, Huey Lewis in the news. Huey Lewis in the news. news. He, he was from California and he listened to it. I take. He gave it. His manager told us to come out there to California. It was, a, it was the same year, but our mother was sick, so we couldn't we couldn't leave Cincinnati. Our, our father said, "Don't leave because you, you never know what might happen to our to your mother." So we stayed. We didn't leave, but we stayed. And um, um, we had a song called "Family Affair" at the time in uh, right. 1988 towards 89. Which was uh, another uh, regional hit for us uh, in Dayton, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, as as well as Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, we were scheduled to, to go to Japan for three months to do a a, 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 a tour, tour yeah. of Japan to to play top forty music. Uh, top forty music back back yeah. then was was um, when when most bands would would play play the top forty hits. That's on the radio. Uh, yes. On the radio, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so um, while we was um, scheduled to go to Japan, uh, our mother again became sick, and we uh, uh, did not go to, to Japan. And, and right, you know, rightfully so, because our mother passed about two months later. And then from there, we continued to record um 2000 and, and um eight no 18 and 19 we start winning a more wars for our songs we um uh, hooked up with uh, starlight pr yeah and uh their promotion of our songs uh helped us greatly and uh, we won a lot of wars over, over well well we won awards uh for us as as blue chip awards um, yeah our Blue Chip Awards is basically uh, uh, the Midwest area. Yeah. Uh, we won uh, three uh, international awards, two in uh, Berlin and one in uh, Israel. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, our song, His Door is Open, yeah. was number one on the up-and-coming charts. And uh, our, our current song, Stand, uh, went number four on the upcoming 300 charts. Yeah, you know, so um, we're we're just um, happy to be on your show. Yeah, well, thank you for promoting our song, and yeah. uh, and and we also grateful to be on your show. Okay, so you went through like a a good history there. What positive and negative changes have you seen in the music industry over? Mm -hmm over the years wow um i mean the negative is right it's, it's a lot of um negative energy with uh with people writing songs with murder you know yeah. calling people out of their name you know negativity about family you know they ain't, nobody helping each other you know and that's mm -hmm. that's selling to the younger youth right now you know negativity and then before the positive side when you put God first, put Jesus Christ first in your life, yeah. and everything will line up. People just, just need to hear the name Jesus one time. It can change them in the blink of my eye, change them right off, right off the bat. You, you'd be surprised what one word can do by saying that name, Jesus, you know, in, in your song. You know, somebody might be down and out, their family members not, not helping them, their husband, their wife not helping them, the kids not helping them. They hear a song 
talking about Christ, Christ will never leave you. And that can be lift up. If if you hit one person out of one out of your song, you have, you have done your job. And one person listen to your song, say, and you hit them, you have done your job. Yeah. So you incorporated faith into your music now. How did you get to that path? Well, um, basically through our, our experience, yeah. uh, as, as you get older, you, you see things differently. And because we used to write music for us as dance, dance music, you know, dance songs. And, and we wanted um, more of, of a meaningful song. Okay, songs that can uplift, encourage, um, hopefully to uh, uh, bring you closer to Christ. Uh, but also, too, as, as you were saying earlier, for as the music right now, as, as my brother was saying, there's there's a lot of uh, negativity out there uh, mm -hmm. using uh, derogatory language towards women, you know, which which we don't uh, agree with. Yeah, you know, because. As you get older, you, you see things differently. Yeah, as you should. You know, you so experience and see yeah. things. Yes, and you know, so so what we're trying to to project is 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 a positive image. Yeah, you know, because uh, we know uh, a lot of children is 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 listening to the radio podcasts, and you know, and and they're very very uh, susceptible to um music right now okay yeah, you know so yeah so so um if they're listening to something something more positive hopefully that can also to uh uh encourage uh the younger people as well yeah so what are your thoughts on how the industry changed like what do you think was the catalyst to change like the direction that it was in because I believe it, I believe it probably from your perspective, you might say it came in through the hip hop or probably like early 90s because there was there were still groups, was still heavy. I asked yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. In Canada, and they said, yeah, there was groups, but probably it'll come back around. And, and see, what's, what's happening now is, I well, what we believe is a resurgence of, of uh, old school mixing with new school. Yeah. See, and uh, we noticed that, and because people, uh, if if um, they they're um, looking at, at the comment sections of, of di different podcasts, and when, when you plan like seventies, eighty music, what have you, they will say that uh, we wish those type of music oh, would come. Right. Will come back, yeah. mm -hmm. see, and uh, we we don't want to attack hip hop music because e everybody has their place. Yeah, see? you know, so we're not going to uh, attack any any genre, right, you know, for us as as the music wise. But I I noticed a shift back in the nineties, uh, nice. where it 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 started it started going left uh, big time, and. Uh, and then it became more of a violent type music. Because I suppose it, it's sold in a different way than how the music previously was yes. based on the talent and the sound, but then other elements came in where it became like entertainment as well. That yes. All the, the music. So sad. Well, the, uh, music music. Was, yeah. well, for us, uh, our change came because of our song, His His Door is Open. We wrote it a yeah. long time ago when, when our mother was still alive. And then when she passed, just one day we, we came back together. We were just playing with the song. We just updated, add more lyrics to it, yeah. and put it out. How many years? About 20? Probably about 25 years. 25 ago. years later, this song went number one. And now that's changed our whole demeanor, how we write in songs, you know, yeah. when his, if, if you listen to it, his door is open, that's, that's the foundation we're going with right now from there. 
Okay. I asked this with a couple other Christian artists. Uh, what what do you say to people that sometimes say some of the Christian artists are hypocritical or there is artists that use the gospel to try to rehabilitate their their image? Well, uh, that's kind of a subjective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Because it's not what you say is what you do. Yeah. yeah. And, and that what you say, you can quote scripture verse all day long, but person gonna look at your action. Not what you say is what you do. And then what you do is gonna go will go a long way in what's going on. I mean, because your character will speak for itself. Okay. So could you tell us about the single stand? Because I know you were trying to push it out and then came along. Well, yes. Uh, actually, uh, it's, it's a little smaller story. We, we After um, we, we did uh, His Doors Open, uh, we contracted a COVID. I had it twice. My brother, he had it once. And yeah. it really uh, affected us. It, it affected you know, my, my boys. Oh. And... Sometimes uh, um, um, I'm kind of hoarse, and then and then it goes away, and then you know you know uh, it's it's fine at times. But stands basically we're uh, basically it's 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 like um, you're you're standing up for God, you're standing up for for your principles. Yeah, you know, just like uh, some some of the lyrics uh, when your problems bring you down. You must become stronger, you know, and if you want to achieve success, you have to develop a hunger. Yeah. You got to get on up and, you know, and see, it, you know, so when you get up, get up uh, and make a stand, you know, so and and, and then you put your, your trust in, in, in God and in Christ. OK, I know the entertainment industry does. Some say there's a battle spiritually for people's souls because, as you see with the news with um, Diddy and everything, people heard about rumors, what goes on in the industry, and what sometimes you have to do to sell your soul. And some people thought it was just hearsay. What are your thoughts and your suggestions to artists upcoming trying to get into the industry? To battle spiritually. Well, you got to stand up for for your belief, uh, like you said about selling your soul. See, people don't uh, realize what, what is 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 actually real. Yeah. You know, because because when you sell your soul, you, you you sell your essence, and and then you're giving control over your essence to another uh, en uh, entity. Yeah. And, and then they may have you doing something, some foul things. So that you can get a, a a hit record or become popular, so so you got to be very very careful for what you're going to stand up for. That's why our song called "Stand" is to us is 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 very very positive, you know. Because uh, uh, as I think uh, it was a rap song back in the '90s. If you don't stand up for something, you'll fall for anything. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so. Uh, I, I think I said it right, but <laughs> yeah, 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 I know that one. <laughs> and and, uh, and number two, you no, know, when you put the name Jesus out there to a lot of uh, group out there in the entertainment, they don't want to hear the name Jesus. You can say God all you want, but don't yeah. say the name Jesus because in the Bible it said the demo the, the demons tremble on the name Jesus. You can say any name you want, but you say the name is Jesus. You got a rule awakening coming your way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, would, is there anything else you would like to tell the viewers about yourselves? Well, well, yes. Uh, we're again, we're from Cincinnati, Ohio. We've been doing it for over forty-five years. Yeah. Uh, and just because you know, um, uh, if you have a dream, follow your dreams. Okay, and. Uh, 
chase your dreams because your your dreams. If you chase your dreams, uh, you will have a a, a good uh, a good possibility of being successful. And but but success is relative. Yeah. See, okay. you know, and 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 never give up. Never give up. Yeah. And I have my saying: Go back, put Jesus first, family second. Jesus first, family second, and it would line up. It would line up. You got to have him first. Put Jesus Christ first and family. And people would recognize that, how strong the unity is with your faith and family, no matter what. You know, you talk, not what you say, what you do. You know, always what you do. You know, you put Christ first and family. Okay, so what could people get your music? Well, well, actually, uh, uh, Spotify. Spotify. If if they um, um, type in "Stand by the Stewards," it it'll pop up. Or "His Door Is Open by the Stewards," it'll pop up. Yeah. Uh, or, or I mean, our our websites will, uh, pop up. Uh, you no, know, no, with that as well. You know, so um, we're just grateful to be on your show. And and, uh, and we're thankful. Yeah, we appreciate this.